Hey you, welcome to my channel, I'm Camille. I am going to give you a morning routine. Not really. However, I'm tired and I have a pimple on my temple area. We are going to extract that after I apply toothpaste to my teeth and scrub a dub dub and also prep my hair with just water. I'm not gonna refresh it because later that evening I did a hair wash. So I thought it was a bit of a lack of refresh if it's gonna be washed out within 15 hours. I refreshed and touched up my eyebrows because they were in need of cleaning up. Now it's time to extract. With a clean, sanitized tool, I pressed against it. It was already popping and I just pulled down to grab as much as I can. I used tissue to remove the plasma, the clear fluid that would come out once it's done. And I'm going to spot wash the area. Normally in the mornings, I do not wash my face unless... I used a mask and it says, oh, you gotta wash your face, but I don't have that type of mask anymore, so I didn't. But I do have minimal amount of sunscreen. To confess, I don't wear sunscreen on a daily. I tend to go out and about and make sure I'm not too much exposed to the sun, even though there's reflective surfaces that can do its thing and touch my skin with its rays of the sun anyway i clean my glasses with two different claws because they're different from each other and i just like to do that as well as try to sanitize the glasses so that pimple city doesn't come back on the temple area and then in the evening i take all my braids out and the area of extraction looks okay of course pink and redness is going to happen within 24 hours but treating it with a acid like salicylic acid is good just to make sure there's not any leftover product within the pore but i think i extracted it enough so we have the silson blue that has salicylic acid so i scrub a dub dub there as well as my nose I'm trying to get those blackheads and then I'd style my hair off camera. This is before diffusing and then after diffusing. So that's how I look. Fuzzy wuzzy. Is I am. <laughs> Anyways, so the next morning I'm tired as ever. Because I slept well. And then give you another mini update on the area not much redness and then a little snippet of the pimple from last week as well so good right not that bad of course it's bad that i, I missed a not applying sunscreen on the daily then we have a movie screening now this was free then that evening or the next day i managed to capture the moon from this to that beautiful here is a snippet of rain. It smelled so good. Magnificent scent. Okay. Let's continue. Now, the next morning. <gasps> I've got some dandruff or some dry flakes in the front that I over scratched and now it's red. You saw that previously in the beginning of the video. So I try to pay attention to that before anything, but I felt the need to get some pizza the cheapest way, you know? So I went to Little Caesars, got a thin and regular classic pizza. They were delicious. And I saw Blink twice, triggering, triggering movie. That evening, giving you another update on my face, I have a papsule. It's like a painful, inflamed 
pimple that's not ready. And I thought to do a video of my face, like what areas mean, but there's so many face mapping photos that they're all different. So I don't know which is a good option. The scarring's good. And another evening of just simple products that I haven't used in a while and I thought to use them. And that is it for now. You will see me do a little bit more within the video and you'll see it after these beautiful clouds. Hey you, I am doing a delivery. Uh, it's like a job and for Amazon. So I am in the middle of a habu, right? There's rain clouds everywhere windy and ever there's dust over here see it's a hopper right anyway bye bye hey you welcome to my what am i saying welcome to my channel you're already watching it i think so i'm back from home i'm i survived the habu the dust storm as well as the thunderstorm and the little dippy road things that can have potential to flood which is a good thing not a good thing a good thing that i i managed to drive and finish the, the deliveries before those flooded any further but it looked like the rain was done by the time i finished so um i'm gonna give you an update on my skin the retinol treatment I did last week made it now a scar well I think it's all right it just means I need to protect it but how can I protect it if I'm not wearing sunscreen daily I don't wear sunscreen daily and I also want to have a retinol how can I have a retinol if I don't wear sunscreen daily it's a dilemma also I didn't wash my hair yesterday due to intuition don't wash your hair is what I tell myself. I'm like, okay. So, today, during that dust storm, I'm sure it's there's particles in here, in my hair, that need to be washed out. So, I will do that. I will also do a workout. I want to work out. I've been working out this week. <sighs> I feel it in my legs. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose weight. If you haven't, not noticed. So yeah, I also want a new phone case or a screen. I dropped my phone during the delivery drop off and ugh, there's cracks in my screen now. But it's, it's one of those screen protectors that's already glass. So I need to remove it and buy another one. Hopefully it's not too expensive. Maybe under $10, I think. I don't know. But that is all I'm going to share for this video. Thank you so much for watching this far, watching this video, staying with me to see my documentaries of my skin and hair. Because that's name, mainly what I do. And I just add little snippets of vlogs in there. You know. So yeah. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And as always, embrace joy.